Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I decided to make a video about um, closure making and I'm making these closures for sale on eBay. Um, I have plenty of human hair and I'm going to show you in other videos as well. This is the hair that I had I made the video with a bristle brush where I separated according to length. And I took the longest of these because they were shorter bundles and I'm going to be uh, blending them back together. You know, because we need to have like shorter strands in there just to make it a little bit more realistic. So um, the reason that I'm making closures with this hair and not uh, units is because um, this hair was sent to me by Linda. And the reason that she sent me this hair is because she bought it with her own money and then she didn't like it for her own usage. She's actually searching for the good hair vendors because she wants to start her own business. And whatever she doesn't like, she sent it to me. Uh, I'm really thankful for her because this hair is amazing and I don't really get it. Um, I mean, she wants to, to get the yucky texture and this is like silky straight. And it's not just about the pattern. There are wavy hair in there and she just doesn't like it because she doesn't want this to run down like Asian hair or Indian or European. She wants to emulate the African hair. So um, what I was saying is that the reason that I don't want to make a full unit with that is because if I make a unit like this and say that this hair is perfect and I make the unit for a customer that didn't really get his or her hands on this hair before, uh, when he or she gets the unit, she might think that this is not good because she doesn't like it. So I cannot take my, you cannot take my word when I say something is good. For example, Linda doesn't like this hair. I love it. So I'm not really going to waste myself making a full unit and trying to sell this and then have people saying that, you know what, this hair is not good and you scammed me. So I'd rather make closures, which is something fast and easy to make for me. And I'm going to be using the amazing hairstyle lace, which is, I'm, I'm starting to run out of it, but I just ordered like a, a big amount of it. And before I make the closures, I usually take some strands from all the bandles, just a little bit over here and here. And then I put it inside bleeds. This is one of the little swaps. I don't remember from which one I took this. And I don't even remember where I have the rest of that because I took from every bundle. And it bleeds very nicely. And I just let the bleeds in for like like 20 minutes or something. So this is this lifted very well for really dark Indian hair. I don't know if it's Indian or Asian. It looks something in between. Anyway. So this is full virgin hair, it's uh, cuticle correct, uh, it's very nice. The texture is silky, so I'm telling you that from now, because when you want to bid on my, it's going to be an auction, when you're going to bid on my items, you really want to know what it is. That's why I'm making the video. So this is not visible, let me just put it, hmm, it could be easy. Okay, um, I'm going to make the, the closures. The, the typical closure uh, is actually 4 inches, which is 10 centimeters by 4. Okay, something like that. And I kind of feel that this is not 100% necessary because forget about the width. This. I don't think anyone's gonna... Um, you won't part it here, you will part it in the middle. So for me, making a closure, I don't know, maybe maybe it's not. It's a good idea to make closures to be sure, because this is the standard. But I was actually thinking about making invisible parts, and of course it's going to be laced invisible part. But what I'm going to do is, instead of making it 10 centimeters and make it very expensive, I think it's fair enough to make it like 6 centimeters. Instead of 4 inches, make it like 2, 2.5 inches. That why. So what will happen is that this whole area here is going to be full high definition. I'm going to have a little bit of seams in the edges. So you will be able to sew it down without ruining it. Because this is not too fragile, but it, you know, it's lace. It's not German lace. It's like a French lace or something. It's the amazing hairster lace. And this way you will be able to afford a natural parting, a super weak maker full high definition parting without having to pay like 100 euros because like this amount here, I don't know how much I would price this because I still don't know how much time it's going to take me to make that. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to be very cheap and the quality, like you don't need too much. Like all this area here, parted in the middle, it's going to be super natural. So this is going to be uh, like an invisible part. This is how they call it. Of course, they usually don't make it like that. 
So as you see, I have placed the lace on the mannequin head because I'm going to be using this to ventilate and I have left intentionally the front uh, without um, a, a fold and of course I'm not going to ventilate here, I'm going to be ventilating until here and I'm going to leave a little bit of excess here. Um, all the way to the back it has like about a little less than one centimeter seam but the whole thing is like 6.2 uh, centimeters long. So I think it's pretty okay. And the four inch mark falls right over here. Here. So I'm gonna have some excess just for you to cut if you want to, or do whatever you want. The, the lace doesn't fray on this direction. You're good to go. You can cut it as much as you want. So I'm gonna uh, stitch the seams right now with some permanent um, thread, and then I'm gonna ventilate. Okay, it's finished. I'm gonna show you the process of making it, the time lapse in the end of the video, as I always do. And I'm pretty pleased. Look at how beautiful that looks. I was actually planning to bleach the knots. Once again, I don't feel the need to do that. The hair is quite long. If I measure it from the center to the ends, which are not like too thick, of course, because as I said, I use multiple hair. I mean, up to the very tip, it's gonna be like 16 to 17 inches, but up to here, which is the f like more thick, it could be like 15 inches, it's quite long as, I, I mean, I don't know if you can see that. It's long enough. Now, as far as I can see, it has the ability to conceal everything. I mean, if you had trucks, it would be able to conceal them. You can see if you put trucks here, you won't have a problem. See? And I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, it took me uh, quite a long to do that because I think I did a mistake. I mean, I, I, I'd rather make wider uh, closures like this instead of this. And for example, if you pay attention from here and up to here, you can see some details, but why do I need to make this high definition? Because this is not, look at that, it's not visible. So why do I waste my time and effort to make a uh, high definition, even this amount? Why does it have to be this kind of have high definition? The answer are, let me just, try to show you. I have some bulky and double knots here as well. Bulky hair, multiple strands per knot, double knot, just to be secure. And I think that I'm, I, from the next time, I'm not gonna be making all this area high definition. I'm actually going to make like from here to here, it's exactly three centimeters, one and a half and one and a half. I think it's enough to make like this area full high definition and then the rest is gonna be like two strands per knot. It doesn't have to be double knotted, but two strands per knot. I think it's better because this way I'm gonna save time. I will be able to uh, price this less for my job and just pay for the money, for the hair only. So this took me quite a long because I was also still in the learning process. And I'm not good. I'm, I'm actually going to underprice this, which means that I'm not gonna get paid for the full amount of time that it took me to make because as I said, I'm still practicing to see what worth making and what doesn't worth. And when I find what worth making, because if I have to make this closure, for example, up to, it's all the way up to here, from here to here and here to here. And uh, it, it took me about seven hours, about seven to seven and a half hours to ventilate that. And how much do you price that? I mean, I, I cannot put a closure for like a hundred euros. As I said, this is the reason that I made it slightly smaller. So I will underprice this. I'm gonna put it like, I don't know, maybe 50 euros. And then I will add like about five euros for the shipping. And the hair that I use is not too much, so I think another 5 euros for the hair. So totally the whole thing is going to be starting at 60 euros, which is not a very big price for the closure, because I've seen hideous closures for like 60 or 70 euros or 80 euros, and I think that this is so much better. So the next time I'm going to be making this, I promise that I'm going to make only this amount high definition, maybe a little more, maybe not 3 centimeters, maybe I make it like 4 centimeters from here to here but not all of it because it doesn't worth it. And then I'm gonna make the rest uh, more time effective. Sorry, I'm gonna remove this as well. I'm gonna show you from the inside how it looks. 
that's how it looks. Oh, and another thing, I asked people, do they, when they have the fold, do they also, do they leave the fold without hair so you can stitch it or do they put hair? Because I put hair over here. I mean, you can see that it has hair up to the edges. I really don't know that I have to. I mean, if you know about closures and if you have bought some pre-made ones, please contact me and tell me, do closures have hair in the edges? Do you still like need like this amount of lace Additionally, in order to be able to stitch it correctly, or is it okay if you have it like that? I don't know. Like you have to tell me that. And um, another thing that someone told me is that you can actually stitch a weft in the inside of this thing over here, so it's gonna buff up all the edges. But if you're gonna use it for your own purpose, like your U part week or your a weave or your installation or whatever you can actually do this by yourself so and i don't have a, a a weft of this hair i might add it in the future when i get my sewing machine i will be making wefts with this hair probably but right now i don't think i can just it's a waste of time for me so i'm pretty pleased let me just show you how that looks against skin isn't that pretty I don't know if it's on focus, let me just take it closer. It's very pretty. I was going to bleed the knots. I'm not going to bleed the knots because I don't find it necessary. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna put it on eBay. I'm going to underprice it. It's gonna be cheaper than the other closures that you find on, on the internet because it's like a smaller version. It's not like big, it's like this amount. But as you can see, it can conceal everything. You can see my hands in the edge. So if you put your trucks, it's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna show you the time-lapse uh, footage of that, which um, I, I think I lost like half an hour to an hour of footage in the time-lapse version, but it doesn't matter. You take my word, it took me like seven hours to ventilate that, single strand, single knot. And also in the back, when you see, what I did is that I ventilated denser. I ventilated in every hole. This was slightly sparser, I was keeping some holes, but this was denser because I wanted the bag that spread the hair to have better coverage. Otherwise, we would have weak points where the hair cannot really conceal everything. So this part has slightly more density, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna put it on eBay. Hopefully it's gonna get sold and if I see that it's worth making them with the new way that I'm gonna make only this high definition and the rest is gonna be not as defined as this one, like two strands per knot and skip around more. Um, I'm gonna keep making this for sale and I have so much hair. I have curly hair, I have wavy hair, I have long hair, I have short hair. This is long enough. If I, if I was gonna wear this, let me just try it. Okay, it's like until my, uh, how do you call that, breastbone or something? It's a little above my, my, my breast or whatever. So yeah, my chest, sorry, I said my breast. My chest, I don't have a breast. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more products and more trial and errors and I'll be making more things for sale.